Hi everyone, in this video, we're taking a look at antioxidants in tea. If you're interested in premium tea, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos like this one each week. With all the recent interest in tea as a health beverage, you've probably heard that tea contains powerful antioxidants that have many potential health benefits, from fighting cancer and improving heart health, to regulating blood sugar and helping with weight and inflammation. It's important to note that more research is needed in these areas, and while pure whole leaf tea is undoubtedly beneficial, we don't market our teas as a medicine. Instead, we focus on provenance, variety, season, and craft to source premium teas that are naturally delicious. With that said, in this video, we'll take a closer look at the various antioxidants found in tea and their potential health benefits. As we've explored in many videos, all true tea like green, white, oolong, black, and poor are made from plants in the Camellia genus, most commonly Camellia sinensis. These Camellia sinensis leaves naturally contain a range of unique molecules that contribute to their taste and bioactive properties like caffeine, theanine, and terpenes. We have more videos that explore these other compounds if you're interested. Of course, tea also famously contain antioxidants, which are molecules that can absorb free radicals in the body. Free radicals are highly reactive molecules that can cause damage to cells, tissues, and DNA in the body, leading to diseases like inflammation, cancer, and more. Antioxidants act like a shield stabilizing these free radicals so that they can't cause damage. In their raw state, tea leaves contain high levels of special types of flavonoid antioxidants called catechins, most notably EGCG. Several studies suggest that EGCG may have a wide range of health benefits, from reducing inflammation to improving heart and skin health, boosting metabolism, fighting cancer, regulating blood sugar, and more. EGCG can even cross the blood-brain barrier, allowing it to have direct antioxidant effects within the brain, which may reduce the risk for neurodegenerative disease and improve cognitive function. Because green tea is the least oxidized tea styles and closest to raw tea leaves, it also has the highest EGCG concentration. As tea leaves are oxidized further into white tea and oolong, the EGCG and other catechins link together to form larger flavonoids like theoflavins. These larger antioxidants are thought to offer a similar range of health benefits, but due to their larger size, are less readily absorbed by the body. As oxidation continues through oolong to black tea, these theoflavins link together again into even larger flavonoids called theorubicans. The larger size mean that the arubicans mostly remain in the gut where they likely offer anti-inflammatory benefits and may improve digestive health. These three types of flavonoids, catechins, theoflavins, and the arubicans all offer antioxidant benefits, but are absorbed differently by the body. The smaller catechins found in lighter tea styles like green, white, and formosa oolong have more potent body Y effects while larger theoflavins and theorubicans likely have more localized impact in the cardiovascular and digestive systems. Importantly, whole leaf tea is crafted from younger tea leaves that remain intact after processing. This means that premium tea offers more potent antioxidants compared to low-grade tea bags. Ultimately, all styles of pure whole leaf tea are healthy for you, so we recommend selecting based on the natural flavor profiles you enjoy. Of course, for the most concentrated antioxidant benefits, you'll want to look at lighter tea styles like matcha, green tea, white tea, and formosa oolong. To learn more about premium tea, visit redblossomtea.com. Make sure you leave a like and comment below if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos.